Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's a new video. It's a different vibe. We're chilling, we're relaxing. I'm leaning back, you know, a little bit because I want us to talk about something. It's, it's widely spoken about, but I kind of also feel like it is something that people tend to get a little bit confused, especially with people who are on social media, like myself, um, celebrities, YouTubers, bloggers whatever like for me it's something that i feel like i was thinking about it last night i'm like you know what this would be a great video for me to film because i kind of feel like it's something that i want to share with the world about me um that might come as a surprise but you can see from the title down below we're going to talk about being an introvert and the characteristics of what an introvert is and what they do and try and explain myself and my behaviors to people who might not quite understand what being an introvert is or what it means or maybe you might have a friend that's an introvert and you just don't quite understand their behavior I'm here to discuss all of that, all of that. So if you would like to see this video, then definitely do keep watching. So firstly, let's talk about being an introvert in an extrovert existential society. So for the most part, we all busy on social media. We, you know, we go out, we go to parties, we go to events, we hang around people all the time. It's, it's, it's just no man is an island pretty much. But for introverts, it becomes a little bit um, more complicated when you try and explain yourself to somebody who isn't an introvert because they don't quite understand our behaviors and things. I say our because I am an introvert. I've been an introvert all my life and I feel like to you guys watching and watching celebrities, YouTubers, whatever, I think there tends to be a little bit of a mix up with you know, maybe people think that celebrities, YouTubers, social media people, whatever, are most of the time extroverts. And for me, I feel like I need to explain that because I am not an extrovert by any stretch of the imagination. And I'll explain why. I'll explain uh, with some of my characteristics, why, and yeah, maybe that might make you guys you know, understand it just a little bit. All right. So an easy way to explain exactly what an introvert is, is pretty much to say that introverts are people who enjoy, who gain a lot of energy and enjoy themselves a lot by being alone as opposed to being around people. When they're around people, we lose a lot of energy. It just kind of gets a little bit draining and it gets to a situation where you don't quite feel as yourself. Um, that's the basic, most basic way that I could ever really um, explain what an introvert is. But for the most part, introverts have characteristics in which they share common to one another um, that extroverts, maybe, you know, extrovert people might quite not understand. So this is what that video is about. Not only is it a way for you guys to get to know me a little bit more, but it's also a way in which it'll explain quite a lot, especially when it comes to, you know, being an introvert and you know, if you see me out and about, it might explain my behavior when you do. So, okay. So the first thing is introverts enjoy being alone. And I feel like this is something that I have to explain to many extroverted people. And I'm in a family where most of the people in my family are extroverts. So they quite don't quite get sometimes how I behave the way I behave. And it kind of gets, it grinds my nuts, but at the same time, I kind of feel like I have to explain it a lot of the time that, listen, it's not that I don't want to be around you. It's not that I don't care to be, it's just that I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. It's not that I am upset or it's not that I'm, I'm pulling some kind of stunt or whatever. I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to be around people. I don't really get a kick out of it. For me, I find it to be very draining. Being around people is quite draining and being alone is the time that I get to be at most myself. 
uh, is the time that I get to do the things that I want to do. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm alone, so I'm lonely. No, it has nothing to do with that. And I'm talking about most introverts. If you are an introvert and you are watching this video, please comment down below because I would love to know what you think. Uh, and if you're an extrovert, I hope that it'll make you understand some of your introverted friends or family members or colleagues a little bit more. But for the most part, we enjoy being alone because alone is our time to do whatever we want to do, catch up on sleep, work, Netflix, uh, read whatever it is that we want to do and we gain the most energy from being alone I feel like it's something that a lot of the time extroverts don't quite understand I mean I have an, a very extroverted sister if you know who my sister is you'll know that she's an extrovert of note so sometimes when she says to me uh, she gets it now she knows that I'm, I'm an introvert but sometimes she'll say something like um, you know, let's go out, let's go to wherever, wherever, blah, blah, blah. And I'll be like, nah, nah, I'm good. You can go, you can go, but I'm good. I don't feel like going there, so I, I'm okay, I'm good. And she'll get upset initially when she didn't understand, but now that she knows that I'm an introvert, she kind of gets the fact that, okay, yeah, it's, it's just not her vibe. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Yeah. So point number two might come a as a little bit of a shocker considering that I am a YouTuber and I t attend events and stuff. Introverts don't particularly like social events. And let me explain why. There's many, many, many points as to why and, um, you know, it'll make you understand a little bit more. So I don't enjoy social events. I attend social events, I get invited to social events, but I do not attend all of them. But because I get invited to social events and things like that, I feel like at the same time, I do need to show face, but I don't need to go to all of them. And I don't need to explain and justify why. We don't like to be around too many people. It's uncomfortable, it's energy draining. It's just really a space where you're just like, <sighs> you're really just doing it because it is part of, um, you know, what you do, like in terms of YouTube or whatever. But for the most part, it is not typically something I would rather go out and do. I, I just... You know, but at the same time as introverts, we also do feel like sometimes we need to share a little bit of ourselves with the world. The difference is when I am there and I am out and about, I am not entirely myself because um, <clears throat> one, introverts don't really, when we're out and about at social events, we don't really appreciate the small talk. Like I don't like small talk at all. I don't like having to talk about the weather. I don't like having to talk about, oh, did you watch this and this last night and blah, blah, blah. I don't like to talk about those things because I just find it draining. I feel like why, why are we talking about the weather when we could be talking about something else? Introverts a lot of the time tend to lean more into the deeper rooted conversations we love to delve into things we love to you know talk discuss but things that have a lot of depth as opposed to small talk with a social event where there's a lot of people i tend to sort of clunk away into my own corner and do my own thing going to social media events and whatever that's a lot of active time for me and active time for introverts is very draining extremely draining i feel like oh my god can i just go home already it is quite draining so for me it's not typically something that i like to do but i know that i i like i said i have to give a piece of myself to the world and i have to respect the fact that i've been invited out to these things that's why i will attend the ones that I know, like I, if, if, if it's a brand that I love or if it's, you know, something that I'm really, really interested in. Okay. And then another thing is introverts tend to have a smaller group of friends and I'm talking about friends. We tend to really prefer quality over quantity. I'm not saying that you can have a large group of friends and they're all quality, quality friends, but let's be honest, that's not a real thing. But, um, I tend to introverts love to have a small group of friends because it's easy enough to deal with having five very good friends as opposed 
opposed to having 15 really good friends. So your friends will know you, they'll know that you don't quite like ABC, they'll know that, okay, if I'm gonna see Gatlo, chances are a lot of the time I'm gonna be seeing her at home or she's gonna pop into my place and whatever, and that's fine. And uh, we tend to, as introverts, prefer that over and above having a larger group of friends. That's that's just that. I can't even explain that any further, but yeah. Another thing, introverts observe a lot. Observe. Did I say observe? Okay. Introverts observe quite a lot. When we are in social events, if I do find myself in a social event where there's a lot of people, I tend to clunk away into my own corner, but I watch. I people watch. I say it all the time. My friends know that they, they'll always say that, oh, there you go again, people watching. Because I people watch and I pretty much, a lot of the time, introverts would pick up on um, the small and details, you know, that, that extroverts wouldn't pick up on because they're busy trying to live their best life they're vibing with everyone and whatever for me i tend to just keep quiet watch of course if i'm talking to somebody it's a different story but for the most part if i'm by myself in that event and i'm walking around and whatever i'm i'm, I'm pretty much observing everything that's going on there so um yeah and i'm making my own deductions in my head i'm deducing things in my head but for the most part i tend to typically um we observe quite a lot introverts love to observe as opposed to um you know be the life of the party um the last point which is the fifth point the last point is introverts are constantly thinking it's it's a thing we're constantly thinking about something as much as i'm filming the uh, filming as much as I'm filming this video right now, I'm thinking about what I'm gonna eat. I'm thinking about, oh, there's another video that I need to edit. I'm thinking about this and that and the other. I'm thinking about the fact that I was out last night and I got a little bit too. <laughs> so I've got a hangover of notes right now, but here we are, here we are. Introverts are constantly thinking. There's constantly something going on in their brain. That's why introverts also tend to lean more to being um you know they they get anxiety quite a lot as well because it's just constantly a lot going on and um you know you you can't ever really fully immerse yourself in a moment especially when you're out with people doing things with people you can't ever fully immerse yourself in that moment because you've got a lot going on in here I hope it helps you get to know me a little bit more and the reason why I had to film this video is because I feel like I meet people when I'm out in the mall and whatever and people will be like, oh, the other day, just last week, I was sitting in Standard Bank and I was there to do, you know, to uh, meet my bank and do some stuff and um, some girl came up to me and she's like, and I just looked at her like, you know, now in my head, I'm trying to recall, does this person know me? Do I know this person? Who is this girl? Blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to figure things out, right? And then she's just like, so when are you releasing another video? And I'm like, oh, then I started laughing, but I was very, very awkward. And if she watches this video, please respond. <laughs> Uh, I was very, very, a little bit offish because uh, I was just like, hmm, what? I was thrown off and I didn't know what to do. My anxiety kind of kicked in as well at that point. And I was just like, oh, okay. But she was extremely friendly and I kind of had to get over that quickly and then start laughing and talking. But it's 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 one of the reasons why sometimes when people see me out and about, I'm, I'm pretty much doing my own thing. Like, and... Um, yeah, sometimes I may come across as uh, a little bit standoffish or aloof, but it's pretty much because I don't like to... I'm not an extrovert. There's certain I just keep to myself and I don't like to draw a lot of attention to myself. That's why when people, oh, God, I'm just like, mm, okay. I get a little bit uncomfortable, but I quickly get over it. But that's me. That Those are introverts. This is typically the qualities that we share together with other introverts and uh yeah that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did thank you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let's be one big happy family i'll see you in the next video Bye.